Hello everyone, I'm AJ and today I'll be testing all the optimization settings provided in Lords of the Fallen. I'll be testing it on my RTX 3060 Ti paired with the Ryzen 5 3600 on my 1440p display. We will examine each graphics settings performance and its impacts on FPS. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting with upscaling technology, I found DLSS quality mode close to native resolution with unnoticeable artifacts. AMD FSR needs to upgrade its game here as its artifacts are clearly visible. I would recommend DLSS over FSR here. Moving on to the next setting, view distance, it causes up to 7% performance drop from low to ultra. It determines how far the game renders from the character. Low to high is quite noticeable when the character is moving. Keep it at ultra unless you need more performance. Next is shadow setting. It defines the quality and distance of shadow generation from the character. Low and medium has very close distance and noticeable while moving. I would recommend high settings here. There is a 14% performance drop when going from low to high and additional 4% if going to ultra. Based on your setup, you can keep it at high or ultra. Next is anti-aliasing. This controls the smoothness of the edges or the quality of the game's TAA. I did not find any significant performance drop here with ultra settings. We can keep it at ultra settings. You may notice that Ultra looks more stable when moving. Moving on to the next settings, texture settings, which controls the quality of the texture. I do not find any difference in texture quality and performance drop when moving from low to high. The only impact it has is it increases the VRAM size. I have not seen VRAM size going beyond 5.5 GB. I have also tried setting the anisotropic filtering to 16x from NVIDIA control panel as suggested by some people. However, it did not increase the visual quality. In fact, it looks better without it. Next is visual effects. It controls the quality of various special effects of attacks and events. Performance drop is just 4% from going low to ultra. We can keep it at ultra. Next is post-processing. It controls bloom, motion blur and depth of fields during cutscenes. The difference in performance drop is up to 9%. We can keep it at high or ultra. Moving on to the next setting, reflection quality. It controls the resolution of reflection and enables ray tracing if set to high or ultra. But I haven't noticed any visible evidence of ray tracing here. As you can notice here, the reflection scaling is much better with DLSS off. With high ultra settings, you may notice screen space artifacts in reflections when DLSS is on. 
Developer has tied its ray tracing option to both reflection and global illumination quality. If both are set to high or ultra, it enables the ray tracing. However, as I said earlier, I did not find any visible evidence. Performance drop is up to 8% when moving from low to ultra. I would recommend ultra or high settings here. Next is global illumination. It controls the quality of light and ambient occlusion. Low and medium may look identical. You may notice better light at high or ultra settings. Moving from low to high causes 3 to 4 percent performance drop, and ultra causes 24 percent performance drop. Keep it at high settings. Last is foliage quality settings. It controls the terrain quality and density of the foliage. Performance-wise, this is the most demanding one after global illumination quality. Going from off to medium costs around 10% and to high cost 24% and to ultra cost 27%. And this is the performance drop chart I have created. Highlighted ones are the recommended setting with very low impact on visual quality. Here is the performance test between ultra preset versus optimized setting. DLSS is set to quality. As the game have two worlds parallelly existing, I have tested them both. You can notice up to 38% performance gain in Axion and up to 34% in Umbra. And here is the testing for Umbral with same settings. DLSS is set to quality. Performance gain in Umbral is up to 34%. With that we conclude this testing. I hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video please like and subscribe to support the channel.